Welcome to Nicole's Needlework. Today is Tuesday, August 3rd, and it is right around 12.40 p.m. Um, this is a video podcast about stitching, knitting, and quilting. Um, I can be found on Instagram and Ravelry at Nicole's Needlework, and show notes can be found on my blog, Nicole'sNeedlework.com. And Ginger just left. <laughs> Oh, no, she's back. <laughs> um, so I haven't done a video in quite a while. Um, when we got back from Florida, I didn't really have a lot to share. Um, I did finish my shuffle quilt top and sent that off to Jen from um, Keystone Sisters Quilting. She is C Jen Quilt on um, Instagram. Um, so I sent that off and I got it back yesterday. So. Uh, I thought I would share that. Let's see here. Um, whoops. I just uh, sewed the binding on the front. And it, it's, I think this is the biggest one I've done. So this is the backing. And then this is going to be uh, the binding there. So. Um, and uh, I sent it to Jen and she suggested um, this pattern for the quilting and I think it turned out really nice. That's why I love sending my quilts to her because she pretty much takes the guesswork. <laughs> like I don't even have to think about it. She has a good eye. Um, she's quick. So yeah, let me see if I can back up a little. I'll probably just have to insert a picture because it's just, it's definitely the biggest one I've ever done. So very happy with that. So again, this is the Shuffle Quilt by Lala Boutique. It's like a pinwheel that is kind of shuffled. Um, the fabric I used is Bonnie and Camille Little Snippets. And um, I use the same for the, the binding. It's also from Little Snippets in the background. And I got um, all that, except the binding, at um, So Much Fun in Lowell, North, North Carolina. And that's what that pattern looks like right there. And I just got the PDF um, from her website. Um, for the binding, I use a tutorial um, on the Fat Quarter website. Basically, it's just a PDF and it goes step by step on how to bind the quilt. And um, so when I went down to Florida, my mom had actually, I brought her the 201, um, but then she had actually bought a 99K, which is a smaller machine, but not as small as a featherweight and it needed a little work. So I helped her fix it up and I actually ended up taking the 201 back home. So I just put the walking foot on it and put the binding on and it worked great. Um, so the other things I've been working on is, so I worked on the Swoon 16 and the quilt along for that just ended and it was um, Swoon for Jardin was the hashtag for the quilt along. Um, and this is French General Jardin de Fleurs fabric. Um, and I'm using the same off-white I use for this. So it's Motabella Solids Off-White number 200. And I got the kit from the quilt spot. And the background fabric that it came with was a little yellow so I decided to use the off-white. Um, so we'll see. Uh, and I got, I don't know if you can see, it says the quilt spot right there. Um, one thing about my blocks is, so the first couple turned out pretty good. And then, um, I, since I am a beginner quilter, I wasn't quite paying attention when I trimmed it to, so the points in here look okay, but I wasn't quite paying attention to the 
sides here when I trimmed it. So when I go to sew on the sashing or the borders, um, it's gonna get cut off. So here would be okay, there might be okay. So what I did was I ended up ordering a little more fabric. So I'm gonna redo a couple of these blocks. Um, I, I just need to pay more attention and slow down, take my time. Um, that's my problem is I, I don't know, I get feeling a little too confident and then realize I can't go so fast. Like I just need to slow down. Um, so I've got more fabric on order for that coming. Um, so that was one thing I worked on and then decided to get this one, Takes the Cake by Thimble Blossoms back out. And I'm doing, it's gonna look more like that kind of. Um, I'm not doing the dark background. So, and this is just easy. It's just uh, sewing squares together. So that's part of one row I've done. And then I've just decided, I've got these in paper blades to keep all my little squares together. Um, so I'm just sewing these blocks together. And I've got a little over half done. It calls for 98 and I've, I've got 50 something done now. Um, so I'm working on that. And then I decided, <laughs> Ginger's, she's being a little playful right now. So I um, pulled out some stitching to kind of see if I could jumpstart my stitching mojo. <laughs> um, I So this is just random order. I just put, went through some kits and some whips and pulled out a few things that caught my eye. So the first one is GGR Jane Southward, 1836. And this is the silks. I got the chart and the silks from the attic. Very pretty. And I have a small start and I'm using vintage 40 count vintage exemplar. And I did make one change. Instead of the thread they recommended, I'm using um, Belle Soie Angel Blush there. I just thought it looked pretty with the other colors. So this one, I, I really would love to get back to. It's so pretty. And then, um, let's see, what's in here? This is one of the bags I made. It's got cat hair all over it. Oh, okay. So um, I was looking for this chart and um, fabric because I knew I had started it. Like I'd started just a little bit down there and I couldn't find it anywhere. I realized um, I must have sold it on Stash and Load. So I probably just sold it on a whim, wasn't really thinking about it. And then later I'm like, why did I do that? I don't know. So anyway, I was stitching it on 36. So I think I would like to restart it on 40. And here are the threads. And this is a piece of antique lace by Seraphim. Very pretty. I love, love Seraphim. Next to Lakeside, Seraphim is my favorite. So that is definitely one I'm thinking of restarting. So another one I worked on a little bit um, is Elizabeth Charnelay W. Um, my friend Karen, Karen's handiwork on uh, Instagram, uh, needed to pick up some framing from Stitch and Frame, so we met up went to lunch and stitched a little. So it was really nice to get together with the stitching button. Um, so I worked on this just a little bit while we were at lunch, mainly talked her ear off, <laughs> but this is my progress. And I was just working on these, uh, on the words there. I've got a little bit more, there's a little bit of over one that I need to do right there. 
but this is 36 count chocolate milk um, by Fabrics by Stephanie. But yeah, I think I would just like to get this finished up. So pretty, I love the colors. And here are the threads. It's Week Styleworks and DMC. So that's one I definitely would like to get finished. And this is an, um, another bag I made. Another one um, I decided to start, um, I forgot I had this kitted. I had it all kitted with the silks and the linen. And it is, Mary Cook 1795 by The Scarlet House. And Carol Sawbox Stitcher stitched this and got it framed and I love the frame she chose. Um, so here's my little start, and it's on 40 count vintage pecan butter. And I'm using all the called for silk threads. And here are the threads. Love that. Schoolhouse red. So pretty. Oh, here's another one Oops. that I would love to get back to. Very pretty. And that is Mary Lindsay, 1828. I just love the colors in this sampler. And this is 40 count, no, 36 count latte by Fibers on a Whim. I love the blues in this. Another one I'd love to get finished. <clears throat> Here is, um, this is from Country Sampler and it is their stitch along they have going on right now. And it is Chessie and Me, Martha Jefferson, 1842. Are the threads and this came as a kit with the linen and this is 40 count straw the Swigart base so I think those threads are really gonna pop on this darker linen and let's see what's in here Oh, here's another Blackbird. Um, and this one I have loved for a long time. This is in the Ooh La La book. And it is a bit of spring. It's a pretty alphabet with the flowers. And I pulled a piece of seraphim. This is antique white. Very pretty modeling. And I pulled all the threads. So that is a future start also. There's another bag I made. And this is Bonnie and Camille fabric from their Sunday stroll line. Here's one I pulled out. Um, I've had this kitted for a while and it is from Sampler and Antique Needlework Quarterly. It is the EF 1864 sampler and it is from summer 2011 issue. I don't have a picture of the, I didn't print the, the cover, but I can insert a picture of what the cover looks like here.
Um, here's all the needlepoint ink silks. It calls for a lot. And thankfully I didn't have to buy too many. I've been collecting these for like 15 years, so thankfully I have quite a few in my stash. And I was thinking of using Mayflower Mocha 40 count for this. So that is one I'm thinking about. And then the last one I got down is Scarlet House Mary Betchel. I love this one. I love the reds. It calls for um, Tulip Red by Belle Squaw. And here's my little progress on that. Just so pretty. So I definitely have a lot I could be working on. Um, and pulling these out really made me want to get back to my stitching. Um, let's see what else do I have? Oh, so this is the shawl that will never end. <laughs> I'm actually in the middle of a row. So here's the back. Um, let's see if I can show the front without. And that's the front. I am so close now. I'm really, really getting there. Uh, I'm on my last color. So I have like maybe eight more rows, eight and a half more rows, and then um, I can bind off. So eventually this will get done. It's just taking a long time. Each row takes quite a long time. And then I got a package from um, that quarter shop. I will share some of those things with you guys. Um, I got a couple cross stitch charts. So this is Granita and it is, um, comes with three different colorways there, or maybe it's four, no, three, three different colorways. And it's based on a quilt by the same name. So very pretty. And then Lori's um, newest pattern, Snowballs for Sale. Lori Holt, very cute. Um, so those two came and then this quilt book came. And this quilt book is beautiful. Um, highly, highly recommend it. Um, I marked a few of the quilts that I just really love. So the, this one is called Vintage Spools. And in this book, um, they have all kinds of projects for pin cushions, pillows. So if you're not a quilter, there's still projects um, that aren't quilts. Let's see. Look at this, a vintage sewing machine cover. How cute is that? <laughs> and then this one, Oregon Trail. And that was the one they had sent um, previously the templates for. So I think that is so pretty. I just love that. And I'm not really an orange fan or a fan of the orange. So I, I don't really love orange, but I think it looks really pretty in this quilt. Um, let me see. Try not to show the pattern. So here's another picture of it. Um, so there is a, it's called a pirouette quilt and there's different projects in there based on it. And here is a pillow, which I thought was so cute, that scrappy pillow. Um, let's see what else, there's pin cushions. Oops. There's some pin cushions. It's just such a cute book. 
just to even look through it all. And then the last one that I thought was really cute was the neighborhood quilt. Isn't that adorable? I would love to do that. So a lot of cute projects, just a really cute book. So I'm really looking forward to looking through that some more. So thank you, Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, really appreciate that. Um, another, speaking of um, like quilt mat, quilt cover, in this Quilty Fun book by Lori Holt, Christy on her um, last quilting video showed her uh, mat for her featherweight. Uh, let's see. I can find a picture without. Okay, so right here, it is a sewing machine cover and mat. So when you're not using it as a mat, you can use it to cover your machine. So I would love to make one of those. I think that's so cute. So that's in this book, The Quilty Fun book by Lori Holt. Um, and then I would, speaking of quilt books, so I've had this one for quite a while. And I would still really like to make, where is it? I would still really like to make this Weekender quilt using um, Lori Holt's fabrics. So one day I think I'll, I will maybe start cutting that out. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give away the two cross stitch patterns the Lori Holt Snowballs for Sale, and the Granita. And then I'm gonna give away this bag I got last time. So it's the Mad for Plaid project bag in charcoal. So since I had you guys do berry or olive for the others, I'm gonna have you do charcoal to win these two charts and this bag. All right, so I think that is it. Um, I'll try to do another video maybe in a few weeks. Um, I did end up getting a part-time job, so I'm not quite sure what my schedule is going to be like. Um, so I'll just have to play it by ear. Um, and don't forget, if you want to enter the giveaway, just put the word charcoal somewhere in your comment. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.